What's good you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zami from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to compose a piano ballad but only using the key editor in Cubase 11. So, I'm sure you guys have seen my other videos where I always use my keyboards to compose melodies, chord progression and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm going to do all of that using only the key editor and chord track, right? If this is your first time here, I'd like to welcome you all to join my XCC Tunes family by subscribing to my channel and turn on notification and smash that like button and share this video to all your friends and family, right? So without further ado, let's jump right in. Today I'm going to compose a piano music, piano ballad, uh, very romantic, emotional music. I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I use to compose piano ballad. So let's get started. I have already loaded up my piano patch here, piano from Native Instrument, the Grandeur. So the first thing first, you need to decide on the type of music that you want to create. Do you want to have a, um, a bright sounding music or you want to have like a sad emotional kind of sound. Okay, So once you decide on that, then you know what kind of key that you should choose for this music and what kind of uh, chords that you should use for this music. I'm going to go with emotional, romantic kind of stuff. And I, I'm going to choose a different time signature. If you have seen my other videos, I always use 4-4 four, four time signature. But in this video, let's try with 3-4 time signature. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that up. So I got this set to 3-4 time signature. Okay, the tempo, I think I'll just let it to 120 or maybe lower a bit. Let's go with 112. Okay, now. So I've decided to go with uh, minor scale, so, but I don't know which key that I want to start with, maybe with... I think I'll go with A minor then, alright? Easy to play, all white notes. Okay, now we have already decided on the key, tempo of the music, and the time signature of the music. So, once we have decided on, on all this, here comes the fun part where you have to create a, a chord progression. Okay, okay I'm going to create a chord track. So, the first chord I want to go with A minor. The next chord I want to go with F major 7, major 9. Okay, and the third chord D minor 7 and G major 7 G dominant 7 and then it will go to E dominant 7 as well okay so let me just play this okay once you have decided on the chords okay just drag this down here with that This is the chords that we have. We're gonna make it more beautiful before we add the melody, right? So I want to have like a pattern like this. I'm gonna have to bring these notes higher so that it will have like a space in between
Okay, I don't want the E here. Now it doesn't have the human feels to it, so I'm gonna have to add the swings a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna adjust the velocity as well. That's cool. I'm gonna add some reverb to this track. Okay, make sure these nodes get it's overlapped so that it will sound more realistic. Okay, and let's try to transpose this out. That is better, okay. Uh, now we got the first section of this music. Okay, now we're gonna add more melody on top. Use the chord tone, but at the same time use some other notes as well. So the chord tone will be A and E, right? Now let's add D here, below here, because the next chord is going to D, right? So let's anticipate that. Okay, now I'm gonna go to F here. Now this, I'm gonna go bring it up to G. G is not a chord tone, it's a passing tone because I'm going to go up to A. Oh no, this is A, so let's bring it up to C here. Let's try that. Now, I want to bring this up here. The third chord was D, not the second chord. So this was F. Okay, so I was right basically. <laughs> okay, let's go with D then. This one I'm gonna. Okay, it's already in D. Okay. Now let's bring this up to A, F, E, turn to G. So this is going to G and I'm going to bring another one to B. Okay, and here let's go to E. Okay, I don't like the last note up there. Let's bring it down. Okay, I think I want to move, remove this thing. To make it even more interesting, let's add some kind of ostinato kind of pattern. Okay, so now we're gonna use this rhythmic motif to create the melody. Okay, I don't want it to repeat too many times.
Let's try to transpose this down. Let me tell you guys what I did. I'm using the chord tone for most of the melodies here, but I'm also filling the spaces in between these notes. When you fill the spaces in between these notes, it creates a syncopated rhythm and it sounds really good when you add the chord tone, okay? So, let me play from the beginning. Okay, the transition from here to here wasn't smooth, you know. Okay, I like the way it sounds now, but for the bass part here, I, I want to move it down. Let's create run here. So this is how you create piano ballad music. Let me recap what you have to do. First, you need to choose your scale. Okay, do you want a major scale or a minor scale? Second, choose the tempo, right? Do you want it to be faster or slower? Third, choose the time signature. Do you want um, normal 4-4 four, four or 3-4 or 7-8? It doesn't matter. Choose any of these time signatures and then chord progression. You can choose any types of chord progression. Once you get the chord progression, then you can create a melody based on the chord tone and just add a little bit of passing note using a non-chord tone, right? And now you have a killer melody with killer piano ballad. And I didn't even use my MIDI keyboard to actually compose this. Everything I did it to the piano roll, right? So this is the best easiest way to write a piano ballad. I hope you guys find some value in this video. If you guys did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification and smash that like button and share this video to all your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.